play as well. In which case, their team fight is actually much stronger. Oops, a daisy. Posing for the audience, and he's rewarded <laughs> with Jack. Shove it back out and keep control. Rolling the hex stringer again into the double AP from Fnatic. We often see it when you have a lane against an AP champion. That's where you want it for this early game power. Instead of Fischio, what do you think they'll have to change to brave the elements in this matchup? You really like that one, did you? Yeah, I did. Prepared before and everything. Uh, oh, for Cobra. Very good mechanics, of course, by team um, impact. Impulse. Darn it. I pulled the jab. You did it. Oh, you did, did, did it. Impul <laughs> Jet, I hate you so much. Literally, during You've the poisoned game. poisoned me. During the game. I was like, I've never done that. I've never said team impact. <laughs> so Fnatic right now is actually expecting the bottom end from Rocket to be on the bottom side. And that's why they give this grumble over to Huni. So he gets a level two for himself. And then he can teleport down to the bottom. Oh! Whoa! That just happened. Oh. Freeze is getting all the damage down into Hyanen. Monsoon's gonna keep them alive for the time being, and Freeze, thinking about the dive, decides against it. Copenhagen Wolves stamping their thoughts. That was a flash. Yeah. Hoppa! You don't have an unlimited use of that spell, my friend. And nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Come on, come on. Nobody's misclick. Misclick, guys. <laughs> Bit of a misclick here. Yeah. She's nodding yes. That's a good thing. <laughs> <That's>, all right. <laughs> oh, she's... I mean, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, right? Mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, I love that it, this, is, this can happen in a place. Like, you see this kind of stuff in MLB stadiums, NFL stadiums, and now you're seeing them take place on League of Legends. Yeah, I saw it actually at Worlds, too. This is not our first. We've had a exactly. couple. This is not we've our actually first. had a couple proposals before. I was really pleasantly surprised by how well he was able to handle that, the lane swap as well. So glad that there's more champions in this pool than Aurelia. <laughs> I mean, everyone can play now. Everyone should be able to play yeah, now. Yeah, well, they left it in open. LCS. Unicorns made a really big mistake there, it seemed. It wasn't the only key to their victory, but just overall, elements really seemed like they knew what they were doing a lot more, and that's the experience factor coming into play here. So, you know, the up-and-comers, they got knocked down a couple pegs. They did. They did. Still, for Unicorns, a lot of fear. Obviously, going back, going to go back and look at the game and say, okay, maybe we need a bit more pressure in this mid-game instead of picking the Oriana into the castle in. Um, Rest of the game for them, I mean, they were constantly on the back foot, just trying to fight. Elements were ready for it. Looks like a very standard controlled Elements game where they don't get surprised, don't get really pulled out of the comfort zone and just slowly control it. And obviously in the very end here, the base race mm -hmm. after 1v5 from Frog and the King. Absolutely. I mean, really, you can't go base race against a team that's already that far ahead on you as well. So that was it. That was GG. Now we're going to check in one stage where Quickshot is now standing by with a member of the Victorious. In making in game, final question, iterated in an interview said that he, you were the best AD carry he ever played with. That's saying a lot, knowing that he played with the likes of Reckless. Um, do you feel right now that you have the most skill in, in all the bottom lanes? By far. By far. <laughs>so um in the pre-game video you said that there used to be a lot of handsome players in fanatic you mentioned uh reckless and expect uh, is there any particular reason you didn't mention me i mentioned you oh you did yeah i did i oh. mentioned i think i mentioned you first oh, so then, <laughs> then, then i i approve <laughs> very handsome oh one final question um doesn't do himself now he's being oh, greedy oh, oh. oh. oops <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh. As Unmolested as possible in the early game. And yeah, really want to get the jacks going so he can actually become a split push force. And whoa! Oh. Executed! The thing is, he did this last time we played. Okay, so you picked Olaf when Lee Sin was open. Are you carrying on the proud tradition of Fnatic junglers sucking as Lee Sin? Or uh, <laughs> do you think Olaf is the stronger pick? Uh, Matchup coming in here if they take down Gravity. <laughs> Is over and Fnatic have done it. They're gonna push the minions in, and just like that, Renot Re Renotic <laughs> Rocket are destroyed. Do you going up against the biker gang? <laughs> really a band out first. She will not be on the table. So top lane focus already. Rexi again. We're still on. Uh, the original patch that we started on with the LCS. We have not switched over. Oh, you know what? Aurelia is this way too strong. Two Aurelias. <laughs> two Shen. Two Shen's meta is out. Morello is in the audience today, and 
They decided nerf bat. No, really, that second ban is actually Annie, by yeah. the way. Uh, for this, there's obviously a bug on stream, but the second ban there for Gravity is Annie taking out that from Kiwi Kid. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, one of his big playmaking supports. Oh, you 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 know what's coming, it's right? So good. You know what's coming. It's so good. Since they did lose, Skara is Devin Nash or right. Malixia, as other people may know him. He was actually Dignitas's life coach back in 2014, mm -hmm. and. Looks like he's taking over the pick band notebook duties yep. at the moment. That's something that, you know, Kobe said was also one of the bridges that a coach has to cross is being, you know, have that relationship with the players. And being the life coach is something you quite intertwined with the life of the players you are around. So I'm sure he's already got... <laughs> For once. Yeah, so it's, I don't know, just playing together, communicating like a lot more. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Apollo. Congratulations on the win. And let's send it back to the guys at the analyst desk. You know, expectations, I, there, there's a lot of things that are different about this split compared to last split. Uh, last split, we kind of had a group of players that didn't really, sorry, my HTC phone is ringing. <laughs> well, that's, sometimes it happens. Maybe turn on phone. We can move on. We can move. get the assist. Well played. Okay, Gravity, they're making a counterplay here. It's got to happen. Commitment bottom. This is definitely St. Vicious' call. Okay, everybody, there's too many people staying behind Baron's. Saint should actually swing around to the other side. Those back spikes do a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, St. And he's going to die from it. Oh. He died. <laughs> he did get hit that, for Blink Salty, though. That attack goes farther than the den. It attacks outside and behind it. Very painful. On Twitter today and Ask Amazing. Be sure to tweet at LOL Esports and use that hashtag Ask Amazing. And that's just silly because everyone knows what the best Nunu skin is. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, but for now, we're going to look at our first match of the day. So Team Liquid not going to make the same mistake twice. This time, Scrying Orb on it. I think I know why Scrying Orb is blue. Because when it goes over the entire enemy team, it's like their tears that they got spotted. It even it's even called crying orb. <laughs> stayed together. Well, yeah, any team could yeah. consider that one guy stayed, right? Um, yeah. Yes. It, it pulls is just on a new Copenhagen Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so by him to do so so far. Otherwise, pushing in. Shy Cells still grabbing his farm pretty nicely, but Impulse going for a quick push on this one. Jana and Jinx are top lane sends the rocket out for a bit of scouting and maybe some damage. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! He got no! it! That almost never works. Well, that just happened. For them, but still, yeah, a little relieving after what was a very, very rough first two weeks, but all smiles now. We play a bit better strategically now. Uh, we didn't really care at all about wave control or shit like this before it started. We were just screaming and trying to fight and shit. I wasn't working. All right, Porpoise, final question. You guys have Team Liquid next week. How are you feeling about that matchup? Uh, feeling pretty good about that matchup. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be very difficult, I think. I think they're a really good team. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to wreck them. <laughs> <laughs> Some fancy words from the crowd. He agreed. Oh! 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 <laughs> Honestly, it is. Yeah. caught a lot of us off guard, I think. Yeah. <laughs> was the big thing. Hey, especially Rip. Rip, 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 Rip especially was, was caught off guard. The coordination they had there, you know, they all speak English in their chat in their comms, but they just sent down all the ultimates speaking the same language there. Yeah, they were spoken pirate. R for all of them. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was <laughs> you're darn that right. Was good. <laughs> and your number of <laughs> Really? Oh my god. Okay. From the laning phase, from the ganks, even from the doubts of Rengar not having assistance, you know, other teams have not pulled it off. Elements did. That is the best, the best play we've seen from them individually. I love it. Uh, seems to be starting because the talent has risen. The same kind of plays for airbags. He did really f well in the in the summer split, in my opinion. But damage down, but it's a two for one trade. Not over yet as Diamond continues to look for targets. Teleport comes up from Cabbage. Play your game, give your input here and there. Kasing does communicate well from having like, I've only had a, fuck, uh, a couple of uh, <laughs> laps there. From SK, mid lane was doing just fine on his own as well. Sven has been able to put all his focus on Forgiven and his bottom lane, and he can also flash the Grum. Alright, I'm calling in for some backup. Freak! 
Where are you at? Sorry, Rev Freak is not here. Call me Earthquake today, because I'm after shocks. But speaking of Twitter, last week we started a death watch and asked you guys to predict when. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to let you finish in a moment. Um, you know, our boy here can answer great questions later. But I've actually got a hashtag Ask Crepo question of my own. And Crepo, I know you're single. I know you're looking for love. Will it you? Is. Will you be my Valentine? Of course, I would, Quick Shot. Oh. <laughs> there you have it. Once he's done talking with the team. We'll get a report later if it was a limp fish or not. Oh, man. Oh. He's going to wait around for it. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Skara. You had one job, Skara. That's all you Skara, had Skara, come on. <laughs> he's waiting for you. He's going he's gonna to call him back out. Skara, all right. the noob coach. <laughs> there we go. There we go. He even adds a little bow. Against Bjergsen tomorrow. How are you feeling against that matchup versus Team Solomid? Uh, I think right now Bjergsen is probably the best mid laner in NA right now. So I think tomorrow is going to be a huge challenge, but I think it's going to be a really fun match. So I think anyone who's going to be looking forward, forward to that TSM CLG rivalry, it's going to be really close because not only do we like go 50-50 in like scrims, I think, or TSM is easily like the hardest opponent that we've ever played versus. So it's going to be fun. Chill out. All right, boys, if we win today, everyone gets a girlfriend. <clears throat> wow. All five of you. I've always wanted a girlfriend. One brand new girlfriend. We'll hit our skill shots on her and make her irrelevant. It, it was so strange because we have seen... Whoops, I think I have another one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Dash. Hello, everyone. I am Riven Kavizna the Third, and slowly sneaking his stuff onto my side of the desk <laughs> is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. So you now lose this. Yeah. That was cold! I, no, not kidding, I believe. And then we're just trying to kill whoever is like close. We want to fight uh, to our advantages. Like as long as the fight go, we win the game because Kalista is just stacking the rent, and we just clean up here. We t oh no, we're not continuing the replay. <laughs> now, Bjergsen is going to go deal with him. Everybody else is going to push the mid lane right now. Whoa! <laughs> Juke! Oh hey! The to talk to Eddie. Thank you very much, Quick Shot. Now I am standing here with the Big Eddie himself. First of all, congratulations. Who need, who need, who need. They are a crazy boy. What? They are crazy boys. What? All, my fans! All crazy boys. Oh my god! You 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 must shut up. <laughs> and on the red side, it's Team Coast. Chris in the top lane, Impaler in the jungle, Man Cloud in the mid lane, Mash on AD carry, and Sheep on support. YOLO indeed for that guy though. He's going hard. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing, apparently. <sighs> But it's ever so slowly. So dragon for maybe a top turret here. But gravity doing nice. And this is just such. Oh, oh. Well, that was that was just a very a poor mistake. Oh. She let it really. Hello. <laughs> Cal, uh, Callie jumping in. All right, they're gonna take it away. It's like off in the fog of war. We didn't see the gnar. He's a bruiser that needs time to tick you down and chunk you down over time. So the big problem there was that going into the pick and ban phase. And let's just take a look at, of course, SK Gaming here. Three new champions, Azir coming in for Freddy. It's been his main champion. It's a second kill for the jungler. Four, uh, sorry, 2-0-2 two, two for Porpoise. And now Chris gets spotted. By the way, Slushi is fed if you didn't know. Krugs? Oh my oh. god, yes. <laughs> the most stylish kill I've seen in the NALCS goes to Slushy. Yeah, literally. Oh, uh, plenty of jargon, Jarvan Flash knockups. What gives you the confidence to come out and play that way? Because we don't see that with every new player on this stage. Because it's easy. <laughs> it, all right. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Just laying <laughs> it out. Laying it out for you. <laughs> Holy. I do want to jump into in the jungle. Keen in mid, cop on AD carry, and Bunny Fufu on support. And on the red side, it's Team Liquid up top, Quas in the jungle. I will. Seems to come your way when we come back. Dignitas will take on Counter Logic Gaming. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and uh, Joel, get on Skype. Hopefully. Hopefully. We will indeed see. And uh, last question for you now How is the weather up there? Some good bursts. They've got themselves some poke if they want it in the form of Diamond Prox's Nidalee. So, Ezreal mid here, we have seen it today already from Nuke Duck, and we have seen... Welcome back everyone to week five of the NALCS. Now, earlier in the broadcast, we asked, who is your midseason MVP, uh, MVP and why? 
Uh, there's been a lot of love for gra cops grab. Close. Can I just take a moment? I'm going to take a <laughs> moment. Welcome back to the. Well, Winter Fox all in with the Janna, randomly running around to the backside, maybe giving a bit extra attack damage. I just put the house on fire. Look at that in the crowd. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am here with Hi after another win on Zed. Congratulations, Hi. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> they could have had fourth again. Oh, Cloud! Oh. Keen rifts in. He was like, the Ignite may get him, but I'm gonna go for another hit. Chris actually going to be walking to his death. Tries to get out. No, he flashed into the wall. Love fans always, and the unicorns of love themselves, have put on a very special outfit. They are ready for the battle. CLG. You know what they're all about, Team Liquid, once again, they do have a lot of support to keep their... ...really focus and be on our game. All right, well, Purpose, thank you very much. Good luck. Fist bumps, come on. It's League of Legends, that's how we do it. Well, that's it for him. Brings a lot of experience from his past season and just the wall, because he knows how it is to be in the LCS. He knows how it is to lose and how to handle loses, how to you win games and then you... Oh, oh I'm sorry, we got to cut you off there, Fanoi. Limited's caught up in a little bit of trouble. Okay, he's back. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to him. Dangerous stuff there. You see Leviathan. Oh, and ooh, oh, the button heads right here. Dentist and Leviathan. You saw it on the other side as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got, oh, okay. like the, the, it, yeah. There we go. That uh, is some serious. Whenever you're dead in a fight, you become the shot caller, you know, because you see more than we do. What if you never die? Then you're not the shot caller. This is like, why you made me the shot caller, because I die a lot. Yep, Corey just diving around him and ignites burned either way. They don't quite have the spell rotations back up. Last charge of. The Spirit Rush in there, pretty close to even, but... Oh, Shook wants to go in Hello. and finish the job! No, he thinks uh, better of it. That was <laughs> really... Yeah, it didn't have all rash. Thing. I think also he had to... Yeah, there, here comes Zion Spartan, Eklerum, right into the fight! He goes out the backside, that. and that was more of a disengage than an engage! Zion there, right outside the ring. G that, you know, you guys were so dominant with before. Why do you think that is, that they've given you lanes you've wanted, they've given you picks you've wanted? I think it's more the we had a lack of practice during the the mini, bleh, the mini slump and um, we like we practiced more and uh, oh my god <laughs> waiting for the opportunity but SK managed to secure the buff no, oh. yeah. no one saw that this is a mid game comp that wants to tear you apart early and then just continue to secure objectives that is uh that's a hearty handshake you, you, you right there. <laughs> yeah, you stop. You stop I'm not first. stopping until you stop. I can shake your hand better. Ready to get in the it's game? Only, it's only awkward. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I want to get in the game. Let's get into the game, everybody. We're just about to get into this one and get that Twitter account loaded up. Make that a 4v3. Copenhagen Wolves moving forward, looking to pick up more. Wicked, he's the one who's caught this time. The Baron helped out oh. immensely in this one. Wicked is going. Guerrilla warfare team fights where they like chase you around. Oh, because they didn't block by the camera. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, they're, they they got to be happy. And to fast push down towers, Black Shield and Hershey will destroy them. You know, he's still chilling around. He is very relaxed about I this. I mean, he already got his A to carry, yeah, man. He's, he's, he's good. He's good to go. Ado Ultimate, right back to Smithy. Link is going to take over this game very shortly now. We, and we here's, the, here's the collapse around them, though. We said, when would Link start Whee! going for other targets? Oh, my God. Oh, right back into him with Fates calling. Did you get turn gets absolutely shredded by that. Randy hits the next hook as well, but they can't follow up. Broken faces on the side of Fnatic. A couple of wars as well make that safe. Elimination will not stop the Gromp. Steel Flash. Oh, okay. Ball self ults. Not maybe what he wanted. The early laning lead does go to Team Liquid right now. Uh, Leona, level one, one of the worst supports in lane. Rush pulling it. Ooh, a bit too far back. Okay, it's okay. That was. Wanted to have Smite in case someone did show up. Yeah. 
And that will be a level three Vi. All right, with so an Dominate, MVP buff. Dominate operating on the huh. assumption that Rush started at his own red. There was what nothing on this jungle. There was a cackle from the audience. <laughs> You've been had, Jarvin. And we'll see. Ah, 80 damage. Yeah. <laughs> shall we shall the victor. Game's over. He got 10 gamer points for doing the first point of damage in the game. Today on the rift. Really? <laughs> you know, like if it's, I, it's flex zone time. I, I, I'm wearing this shirt, man. It doesn't show off my abs. I have to. Oh my god. If I talk it in they the back. It, it's fine. I didn't it's, mean. I didn't mean literally. I just meant. But I am, especially with jungle nidalee uh, and Lissandra as powerful as she is right now. Ward battles. Time and again, we're seeing pink cord trader for green ward, and Lust Boy just replaces it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, okay. Let's play against I'm David Freak. Chilling with me for our last two matches is today's expert, Joshua Jat Leesman. Thank you very much, Freak. We have some quality games to finish today as well. I'm honestly feeling like Tip versus Cloud9 is the game of the day. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. It's going to be our next match, in fact. Team Impulse versus Cloud9 as Jat. A game of what if it was my ward? They were placing a lot of wards all across the map, and the one time that Shifter's standing on the one is they didn't see place, the one they didn't clear out, right? That's what you wait for the entire the one they didn't clear out. More of XPK Amazing on the rest of the Origin Squad, by the way. Go ahead and check out the European Challenger Series every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central European time. That is 10 a.m. Pacific. And as always, find the full schedule at LOL Esports. So it's just like, as long as we don't suffer like a huge skill loss in the last couple weeks then should be fine um, even though our team fighting can be kind of poor against the top teams it's uh, I guess sufficient against lower teams so we weren't worried at all no. themselves up at unicorns they're well, looking behind. for an engage because Chachi is coming in fact he flashes over the wall he's managed to catch Shook Kikis runs into a wall that's not what you want not like that for hey. me you want some water <laughs> Very tough. Their first game versus CJ Enter is also not a not a uh, easy cookie to. C I, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, it's. A I have no idea. Well, now that we're officially sure. in the. Baylife. <laughs> well, you've heard it here. Baylife from Dublin. Thanks very much for the interview. Congratulations on the 2-0. See you in a couple weeks, and see you guys at the desk. Golden age. <laughs> <laughs> Golden got it age. in. Got it in. <laughs> Golden yeah. age. Did it. Made it. Success. Last ten turns, baby. True form. Mm. In screams, we don't give a fuck. Oh. Oh. Mm. Give a luck. Yeah, I give a <laughs> Yeah, but... Yes. Uh... And they secured. Now they've got to look to winning something internationally. Yes. Fairly strong fashion. Both Cloud9 and TSM. The people demand answers. What shampoo and conditioner do you use to maintain your fabulous hair? I don't use conditioner. Oh, damn. Well, I, only, I only use uh, the tears of my challenger enemies <laughs> right now. <laughs> Is that you have really high base damage. And if you don't fall off in levels, like behind in levels. Nice fans, by the way. Everyone is Huni fan. Whatever, I'm not. Only for Huni. We should, we should re rename the team to Huni instead of Fanatic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the last team fight here. He, he died like instantly. Yes. And yet they won because they were so far ahead. Yeah, Overpower just ended up tanking for. Uh, the fans <laughs> hyped up outside, getting ready to take their. And that's Vici Chachi. So we'll see what unicorns have left. Decide to lock in. This is an incredibly important game for both of these teams. Rock out. No music, music for you guys. Four, and you broke it. This is, this I did. is your fault. This is your fault, Officio. Um, Rock out. On its head. 40 second timers on the clock. This Look, could be the it. Nexus turret if Meteos can't do oh anything. Oh my god. Oh, he's laughing at him. Slushy. The BM. Man, or right. Mid lane ganks, especially Cassiopeia that's facing Lissandra. <laughs> we can set those up. <laughs> I think uh, 12 more could be. <laughs> Eighth War Cloud 9. They put them, turn them on their head, and steal their lunch money, as Kobe would say. Team 8 takes down Cloud 9. Maple Street, the American. It's around it. Very green. You can see how Kick is now saying, okay, I'm going to. I don't even know why I'm here at this <laughs> desk or there <laughs> because. Uh, 
I just got shafted all game. But anyways, uh, spikes. yeah, indeed, we will see. Dent is good friends with you, good friends with Leviathan, good friends with everybody. He's just Dent being a spy, just man. Dent is just friendly yeah. overall. Too. Or he's just trying to get all the info. Uh, personally, I hate dentists. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the base they go. Double kill for Phoenix. Oh! The back lines. Actually gets the kill on the match. The heals might not be enough. They don't go for him, actually. No, it's three men alive. And ace for the team. The Triple kill for Phoenix. Oh, no! The turret the baby! But Phoenix and Quad hit them. Yeah. I mean, you can't. That's that's just a, a speeding, a speedy, speedy game from them. And smiles all around. They deserve it. That is the type of play that everyone wants to see out of Fnatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, but actually, we don't like them. Like, have you ever seen a unicorn and a wolf in natural habit not fighting each other? I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, been feeding a bit of extra farm. On Alex or on so on, but now Alex he's in the top lane for Visichachi. Yep, Visichachi is gonna get knocked, but it's gonna be unlimited, taking a lot of tower shots as he has to back away. A teleport onto the same tower is cancelled. Hi right, guys, let's get our game face on. Game pace. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But your other is so absolutely terrible. On the it's right. better now. On the right. <laughs> like I had it. Uh, you guys can't hear me or? Oh my god. god. We can. I said yes. <laughs> Still. So it's a great start for unicorns, and they have all the right tools here to do well. There's a flashing gate. Yep, they find the Tibbers. That's unlimited going down. Power of Evil unleashes the power. Teleport coming in after the fact. Here comes Airwalks. Dodge by Power oh, of Evil. He oh, the wall. he's gonna be in some trouble after. Everybody's been having these, but the last couple of weeks, <laughs> I even have had these types of issues. Quas taking a nap. We do see Pepinir and a running low on Mata, and Sven and Fox unable to make a kill. But oh, Super Mega oh. Death! Oh! oh. <laughs> Gold card out on Audrey, throws out some wild cards as well. The heel is popped, the calling as well. Overpow tanking a lot of it on the back side, and he could be in some trouble as Whirler with the teleport coming in. Overpow, he's gonna go down. Oh, the Aww. flash! No, that's not what you want. Is that true? Yeah, I actually thought that was hilarious. I did more damage to champions than he did, and I was like, uh, I'm playing Scion. That's like the type of champion where it's like, oh, he's a full tank, he does no damage. But no, I actually did more. Rather freezing out. Well, you see Cabo Shard making his way down to the bottom. Edward actually, though, causing Shook some. Punch their tickets to the spring playoffs. And now we can hand it over. <laughs> ah, what a game, what a game. Definitely what a game. Full mid lane item, Luden's Echo, which oh, is yes. honestly pretty good on Syndra because she moves around, she's Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mm, I ding ding dong. Guys, go wherever they want. There they go. Oh, well, they choose to go mid lane, jump on in. They catch Shifter, who he dashes over the second Q. But here comes Zion on the juke back. He's going to throw oh, the no. Q. Shifter oh, with oh, the outplay. Oh. He's going to get away from Zion's Spartan. Yes, he does. The minion throw, the flash Q. First blood, Zion Spartan. Oh. Oh. Oh been doing now to set up the bottom lane minion wave you can see how they're slowly pushing up and they need to start grouping because the unicorns are not exactly running any way of pro well never mind that because only he's getting jumped hella sang is in trouble he's down but where is power of evil down to 50 percent hp omen of death not been used yet as hooney is out in the background power of evil's no power of evil chachi was is out of game? position steal back and fanatic have found four kick us in full retreat a one for four trade and a baron buff minion fanatic beyond the inhibitor turret they're pushing through Minions are coming here. You can see they're pinging them on the minion map. They got the Baron still trying to push in. It's just a lonely Nunu trying to defend. Is it enough? Can Kiki scare them away? Fnatic, they're uh... waiting. They've got minions. I don't know if it's enough. 15 seconds before Chachi is up. Vardex getting closer. Kikis is trying to pull attention, but it's got not the enough. The Hillisang is down. Hillisang's in place. He needs to have a magic, magic stun, but he's not going to because he's in trouble. Featherman continues to focus the turret. Hillisang is down. The Nexus turret is down. They're onto the Nexus. Fnatic looks like they're stunning. At 33 minutes, Fnatic are taking down the Unicorns of Love. No! A few more hits. No, no, no. What? What? I 
cannot understand this game. Unicorns of love. It wasn't Defend. used then. <laughs> Hillisang got in there. Now they got him. So now another fight. Oh. Okay, Vardag's down. 5v4. There are supers to deal with in the middle lane. And Fnatic may want to use a numbers advantage. It's a couple of love taps. That's all Fnatic needs. Don't have XPK anymore, though, to backdoor that one, but they're going in again. Oh, that's a petrifying case. They've caught two. Paralo Vival is dead. That one's down, though. Sandy and Chachi are trying to get away. We do see the omen of death. What can Paralo Vival do from beyond the grave? He's caught steel back. But that, that is the most number of kills we've seen in the spring split. 14 minutes quicker than before. Yellow Yellow's stop, the back door. Lover. I've seen this before. It happened at Worlds, and it didn't go in Fnatic's favor. Will their fate be different? Nexus is going the down. Kahuni. Really That's Kahuni. Oh, no, 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 no. It's what Fnatic are cheering. We see Raynovers down. Kahuni. It's, Kahuni. it's, Kahuni. Again. Little it's happened hand. again. Deficio, it's happened again. Fnatic are not able to defend the Nexus. They've got supers barreling down the mid lane. What can the super minions do? Get that super minion. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Third. Unicorns of Love continuing the siege. They are unrelenting. There is one Nexus turret standing, and the Unicorns say, we will have it. Oh, it's Fnatic caught out. Feathervid's in trouble. We see that uh, Kikis has dropped as he was channeling his absolute zero. Dredge line knocks up multiple people, but Chachi forced to use that omen of death on himself. They got one. Double kill for Steelback. What can Feathervid and his Steelback do? Vardax and Power of Evil alive. They do see the dredge line connects with Hillisack. Look at the carries. They're both rooted in place. Hourglass keeps Huni alive as we see Yellow Star taken out. This is a two, three versus three in the base. Everything is down. It is all on Steelback and Hooney now. And Hooney, the Nexus is standing. Steelback has got Hillisung. He's critting massively onto Vardags. But Vardags and Power of Evil, they are pushing with the minions. Hooney on full HP. Deficio, will they go in? Glacial Path. We do see the shard connect, but look at the auto attacks. Power of Evil's got him. Can Power of Evil turn around? Can he get it from Steelback? He can't Vardags find Vardags. Steelback is looking for Power of Evil. Unicorn to done it. Unicorn to beat Fnatic! Something I have to ask you about, though, is last year, Cloud9 was impenetrable when they had a gold lead. And this... Uh, a little bit scarier. I mean, we were scared more than usual because it was like a, a most important game ever. We were pretty scared of fucking up. We didn't want to lose. This can do well, but because Chachi was forced so low so early, was unable to really clean up more despite getting that last little hit. And Vardax with a very aggressive flash in. What was he trying to... Do I think he went the wrong direction there? That uh, I think so. looked a bit odd. Or without running straight into his app, no, he's been protecting his carry quite well this game. Oh, he however, he's got there's the, stun. the flash. There is the stun. Eddie flashes out, but he can't escape the buckshot. And Vardak. How long? I go nyap 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 nyap. When yeah, I when I, when I when I eat every every creep, every oot. Yeah, know? shit, yeah. shit. Nyap nyap nyap. Uh, any openings to punish them for overstaying their welcome. But they do grab inhibitor number one in the middle. They've got a few deep wards out now. And they're definitely playing with a little bit more confidence to be able to clear away the skull crap. Unfortunately, no it's not one a wave saw that. Connect, no, but... come on. Don't All clap right. that. All right. Into as many victories as he would have liked. Yeah, that's fairly true here. They're definitely uncomfortable champions for themselves. Froggen on LeBlanc, Shook on Lee Sin. And Venero is relaxing on this one. Having to move out, and it was a very, very messy little fight. Oh, Let's see what the, the rocket, rocket is coming. can do. Nope. Oh, oh hello, oh, Spitz Oh, my God. Goodbye. I was like, nope, that's not going to hit. And then, and the Jinx rocket. The top. We'll see what happens with the rocket. See if he can get Sven. Can spot oh, he's going to go. launch it. Oh. And it's dodged out. Sven learned his lesson. That once, at least. Oh, Corey. Oh, well, but Corey's here. Did he now, Pirate? Did he learn that lesson? He learned how to dodge Jinx rockets, but maybe not. Probably doesn't either. You see him shaking hands there with Daylor as we get ready to load up. It's just going to be a pretty explosive game. That second turret. So two towers roughly equals five kills. Today also, obviously, a bit, oh. of a, bit of a small uh, fun. And quickly towards bottom here. I wonder if they're actually baiting Gamsu. That's or a bait. Quas, rather. Into this one. Perfectly done. Quas flies through like he's blindly running into the situation. But it was the bait that's going to get the first blood onto Core JJ. Wow. <laughs>
The timing was Fox are jockeying for Absolutely. position at the bottom of the standings and a great Rumble Ultimate in one of the chokes, and we'll take a look at St. Vicious's positioning. It looks like they're going to try and force it here, so get the Consume Smite combo off. St. should be able to secure this one. Should. Oh, no! Oh, Dragon goes over to Cloud9, Meteos! Um, but it will be versus the Copenhagen Wolves. How do you feel that transition is going to go as my uh, accessory drops onto the floor versus the... Sir, and by the way, I couldn't find my toothbrush, so I used yours last night. Thank you. I bought two. So you guys, by yeah, the way. I used your, uh, used your new one. I okay. couldn't find the old one. Come, 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 backy. Come, 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 come. Nah, 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 nah. And uh, Airbox, thank you for letting me borrow your shaver. That's so true. I go nyam, 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 nyam. This becomes a variable tank the later on in the game, so this is nice and flexible for them. Yeah. But it's still risky. It oh, 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 there's the plug. <laughs>